I wanted to uh, show you what I did with the uh, circular slider in Air Manager. Uh, I hadn't done anything with the circular slider. I did use it uh, with invisible thumb for the uh, Cessna panel for the uh, mixture in the uh, in the throttle. Now there's a there's a some bugs that you can buy to add to an altimeter. They actually stick on, and uh, there's a thumb here, a little tab where you can grab it with your finger and move that around the altimeter to set a bug at at uh, decision height with the red and that makes the yellow from st uh, the wide part there is at 200 100 feet above minimums and then the top the, blue, the yellow stops as you go through uh, 200 feet above minimums and then there's a green bug at uh, 500 feet above minimums so uh, Jack Z had made a very nice altimeter three-pointer altimeter uh, with the bug now he had a, a knob to control those but in reality it's a drag so what I did was made a circular slider so that you could grab the slider and move these around with your finger in a very realistic way. Uh, so in this case, let's say the minimums were 200 feet, you'd set that there uh, with your finger, and then as you can see, as you descended, you go through 500 above, then 200, and then 100 above, and then minimums. Now here I've just, uh, just for the sake of demonstrating, I've uh, made the, the thumb, the, uh, the, red, the red thumb square, which is uh, about 50 by 50, and then the uh, the background of the uh, of the whole slider is uh, the circular slider is shown in a yellow outline. So in this case, they're using nil as the images in both cases, and in this, I actually put an image there so you could see what was going on. Uh, and I suggest when you're doing that, sometimes it's good to use an image so you can see what you're doing, where you're putting the radius, and so on. Otherwise, it's but but in in reality, it's nice to have them invisible. They look quite realistic, and you can put your finger on there and move that thing around pretty, pretty realistically. So if you're using a touch control monitor, uh, just like I used for the throttles on the Cessna uh, pay panel, I used a, an invisible slider over top of the graphic to move the slider in and to move the uh, throttle in and out, the mixture in and out. And I actually used an invisible scroll wheel for the uh, trim so that... Um, uh, in fact, I'm not sure if that was invisible or not, but I have used invisible uh, scroll wheels to move things also. I mean, you could use uh, that for a switch or something if you wanted to manipulate a switch. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I think it's, uh, it's, it's an approach that we might be able to use on other things too, so I just thought I would share that. Uh, the invisible, an invisible uh, circular slider uh, to uh, set the bugs on the altimeter.